It was finals week here on the Rose Hill campus, and Fordham basketball fans wanted to know, would the team come out with full energy? Well, they didn't need the whole team to come out with full energy, as Chris Gaston had 35 points to lead the Rams to another victory. And they stopped the team in Texas State that averaged 83 points per game, which was eighth in the nation. We slowed them down. We, we slowed them down. It's, um, we call it our colors. Um, so we went from maroon to white. That's basically our zone, zone offense to slow, slow teams down, especially a team like that, which um, they want to run up and down. We had to make them play our tempo. We didn't want to play theirs, so we slowed them down, and we, uh, we kept them off from doing what they wanted to do. And, uh, and the zone worked really, really well. I mean... They shot. They jacked up a bunch of threes that were contested, and like we we out rebounded them. Chris Gaston had 35 points and 15 rebounds. He accumulated almost half of the team's points in the game, but he attributes the great game to the hard work leading into it. I mean, I just took my time today. I worked all week, like on my free throws and stuff. That's why I, uh, we got. I, we, I made a bunch of free throws, and we, the coaches like had us do uh, night uh, workouts, so that helped us a lot. So we got a lot of shots up this week and ran a lot. That's why I was in great shape running up and down. So just the extra workouts, and that really helped us. With five minutes and 21 seconds left in the first half, Kervin Bristol went down because of an injury. Up to that point, he had five points, eight rebounds, and three blocks. Coach Bacora talked about his status. All right, he's got a high ankle. Well, I don't know if it's a high ankle sprain, a grade two ankle sprain, but he's staying in the area for the holiday. Our Dave Zippo, our trainer, will be here every day including Christmas to treat them twice a day and you know how it is with them if you can really hammer it out the first 48 hours you know we'll know more obviously day after Christmas and see if we can get on the floor and, and give us some minutes it's going to be important because obviously Georgia Tech's got great size and he's our biggest most physical player and if not we're going to throw the young buck in there and let Canty run wild. Even with the win Fordham was up by as many as 25 in the second half but only won by 11 points coach talked about teaching the young players and their reactions to his coaching. We came out of a timeout right, at, right before the four minute timeout and I got on them and they're young. He's the only guy who's got his head up. The other four walk out of the line and it's like daddy yelled at me. You know what I mean? It's like guys you got to grow up. I'm coaching you. You know you got to man up and you got to understand but that's all part of building this thing and it's all part of the process. So the Rams have a Christmas break off, but they're going to keep practicing and practicing as a very tough Georgia Tech team comes to town a long time since the ACC returned to the Rose Hill Gym. Reporting from the historic Rose Hill Gym, Donnie Dwyer, thesportcycle.com.